Hey everybody, it's uh, Derek from RearWheelDriveCoupe.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to take your door off of your 2010 Genesis Coupe. Well, not the whole door, just the trim piece that you see here. I'm going to start off by taking this little rubber piece out. I've gone ahead and pretty much already done it. You just kind of take a screwdriver, peel it back, use another one, plop it out. Then, to get your pull out, open your door handle like that. Insert your trim panel remover and very carefully plop it out. And it just plops out. So you should have two pieces by now. The next piece you need to remove is this piece here. Believe it or not, just give it a good pull and it pops off. It's just a stick on. So some of that vibration noise you hear in your car, that's probably it too. Next thing you're going to need is your trusty star headed screwdriver. And you're going to take a screw out of there, which I've already gone and done, and a screw out of there, which I've already gone and done. Then you're going to come along underneath the bottom here, and come right down there. Finger up underneath. A little bit sticky. There you go. And you just go around the edges. stuck here. There we go. Once you get that final clip off, just grab your door by the handle and you'll see here, let it go, there's quite a bit inside that's attached. You've got your pole release cord here, which is attached by a couple of screws. We can go ahead and undo the switches. There we go. Once you've done that, you can undo the switches. The only thing that's holding it on is your poles. And you see here they're pretty flexible so you can get quite a bit of distance. And then this is what you're looking for underneath your door. You got some weather grommets here. This nice big piece of, uh, seems like tin sheet steel. Uh, your window motor, some more grommets, some more wires big part everybody's been interested in is your speaker, which your stock speaker is. And not even, that's an impact sensor. And wiring harness. And much to my dismay, not very happy to see this, is the stock coupe, the base model 2.0, does not have the door wiring harness for the turn signals. That kind of sucks. I was really hoping to add that on, but I guess it won't be now. Or I'll have to make up something else. Something will happen, I will make the coop, the coop do my thing. So there you go, folks. That's how you go ahead and take your door, your inside door panel off. And if you want to take it off even further, if there's more things you want to do to it, all you have to do is release, undo these screws here, this big screw here and that'll take your pull release off and then your door is completely free. Happy modding!